Hi, this is Bill Shack from the TTM Djembe Academy, the world's first international school of West African percussion, founded by Mamadi Keita. On this video, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna learn how to play the break on the djembe, and we're also gonna learn how to play the dunun part that you saw Finn playing in yesterday's video. I also want to say this, if you don't have pots and pans at home or you're watching this and you're in front of a desk or a table, you can do everything that we're going to do today right on the desk or table and you can even do it on your lap. As a professional musician, you would be surprised by how much I have gotten accomplished practicing on the tabletop or on my legs. Of course, when we all go back to school, don't do it on your desk in the classroom. All right, so first things first, let's go over how to play the break or, or learn. I say go over because most people, if you have any familiarity with the djembe, you know about the break. So it'll be a review for you. And if you've never played it before, this will be your first time. So we'll walk through it step by step. We're gonna use this pot here today as our djembe. Again, use your table or your desk or your lap if you need to. So for the break, I'm gonna play it for you and then I'm gonna break it down. So the break sounds like this, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do that one more time and this time I'm gonna give you the words for it that uh, if you need the words to help you with the rhythm, these are really good. In fancy grown-up terms, we call it a mnemonic device. Mnemonic device. Or you could just say the words to help you remember the break. So it sounds like this. We go five, six, seven, eight. Pass the yogurt and eat lots of fruit. Now let's break that down a little bit. The first thing I want to show you is that when we play the break, the first note is played with what we call a flam. And a flam is where we hit the drum or pot or table or lap with two hands and one is a little bit in front of the other. It doesn't matter which one. So hold your hands like this. And when I say five, six, seven, eight, let's play one flam together. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight, flam. Six, seven, eight, flam. Now let's do flam the yogurt and eat lots of fruit. So do both hands on the first note. Let's do it together. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, flam the yogurt and eat lots of fruit. Let's do that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, flam the yogurt and eat lots of fruit. So now that we have the flam, the sounds that we use when we play the break on the djembe, all the notes are tones except for lots of fruit, the last notes at the end. So it would be tone, 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 slap, slap, slap. If you haven't learned the tone and the slap before, uh, you can check out the video we did yesterday or the tones are with your fingers together and for the slap, you just relax your fingers like this. So tone, slap, tone, slap. On the djembe, the tone is a lower pitch and the slap is a higher pitch. So now let's play flam the yogurt and eat slap, slap, slap. So let's try that together. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Flam the yogurt and eat slap, slap, slap. Five, six, seven, eight. Flam the yogurt and eat slap, slap, slap. Five, six, seven, eight. Flam the yogurt and eat slap, slap, slap. Nice job. All right, so I'm gonna suggest to you to practice that a few times and from teaching this to people live, I'll give you one tip. Make sure when you do the flam, you actually are hitting the drum with both hands just a little separated. Sometimes people think that they're doing that, but if you watch yourself, make sure you don't do this. Five, six, seven, eight, flam the yogurt and eat lots of fruit. Did you see how I forgot one hand? So make sure you pay close attention. If you wanna pause the video and practice that, this would be a great time to do it. Before we learn the part on the dunun that Finn was playing in the last video for Cuckoo, we're going to learn a little bit about these drums. So the dunun, when we say the word dunun, it's a family of three bass drums that go along with the djembe. And each drum has a name. So the smallest one is called the kinkini, the kinkini. The middle one is called the sangban, sangban. And the biggest one is called the dunumba, dunumba. Traditionally, in the villages in West Africa, when these instruments are played, one musician plays each instrument, and they're played on their side like this, and they often have a bell on the top, just like we have a bell here. So normally you would play the skin with a stick, and you play the bell 
with a metal striker like this or sometimes a really large nut, you put it on your finger and tap on it like that. So when you play uh, in, this, in this style, in this setup, it sounds like this. Now, also, if you don't have enough musicians for there to be one person playing each, you can play the drums standing up like this and play on top. Of course, it'd be better if I were sitting in a chair, but you get the idea. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pretend that we are playing the Sangban and the Dunumba, and we're going to pretend that we're playing the parts for Cuckoo, which is the rhythm we were working on yesterday. So as you are getting yourself ready with whatever instruments you're going to play, your pots and your pans and that kind of stuff, um, you're going to want to find two different pitches. So you're going to want a high one and a low one. Now, if you are playing and you have a table or you're working on your lap, you can just do two fingers like sticks and you can just tap on the table here and tap on the table there or tap on this leg and tap on that leg. So you don't even need pots and pans if you can't find any. Of course, before you grab pots and pans, make sure to check with an adult that it's okay. And make sure that you use something appropriate for sticks that you're not gonna break. Okay, so I'm gonna play the pattern for you and then we're gonna break it down a little bit and we'll learn it step by step. So as a demonstration, the whole pattern all together sounds like this. Five, six, seven, eight. So again, this is the what would be the Sangwan part and the Dunumba part for Cuckoo if we were playing the drum standing up. So let's break it down. The most important part is the way we start over here on what would be the Sangban. And the first note is after the four and before the one, and the second note is on the one. If you get that right, that's gonna set you up for success for the whole rest of the pattern. So when I say one, two, three, four, and 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 one. Two, three, four, and one. Notice that's different than doing the first note on the one and the second note after. That would sound like this. One, two, three, four. See, that's not what we want. We want to do and one. So let's practice and one one more time because it's really important. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now. Let's practice the whole pattern one time. So we have two notes, one note, and two notes. And it's gonna sound like this. Five, six, seven, eight. And five, six, seven, eight. And five, six, seven, eight. And five, six, seven, eight. All right. Here's a big music word for you. The music word is syncopation. Can you say syncopation? So syncopation is when we slide a note a little bit one way or the other so it doesn't sound straight. Instead, it sounds syncopated. And here's what I mean. Instead of going bing, 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 this note gets slid a little bit. Bing, 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 so it sounds funky. So make sure do that note in exactly the right spot. Okay, let's practice. I'm gonna say five, six, seven, eight, and let's play it over and over together. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. So for everybody at home, you can choose if you would like to play the break or the dunum. And of course you can watch the video more than once and go back and forth. One time you can play the break, one time 
you can play the doo doo. So how we're gonna set this up is when I say five, six, seven, eight, I'm gonna play the break and Finn's gonna start and then he's gonna go and I'll say five, six, seven, eight again and we'll play the break and Finn's gonna stop. And then I'll say five, six, seven, eight and we'll play the break and start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. We'll go back and forth. So here we go, we're working on the doo doo for cuckoo. The rhythm cuckoo comes from Guinea, West Africa, the same country as my teacher, Mama Nikita, and it's played by the Manian ethnic group as a celebration for when the fish or women return from the village. So here we go. If you're playing the break, get ready to play it with me. If you're playing the dunun, come in after the break. So all the break players out there, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. So there you go, that's our video on how to play the break on the djembe and the dunun part for cuckoo. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen on this video, feel free to leave us your questions in the comments down below and we're happy to answer you. Give yourselves a round of applause for doing such a great job.